Thursday things we're making Thursday things we're making Thursday yeah Welcome to Sweet Peas Sid's Inspirations. My name is Sydney and this is Things Sweet Are Making Thursday. So this is a new collaboration for myself, but um, this has actually been going on since about January. A bunch of different uh, content creators have actually gotten together and decided that they wanted to make an open collaboration for anybody who's wanting to participate. And over the last several months, they have grown tremendously. Um, I have been wanting to participate in this collaboration for quite a few months now, but with uh, just designing and everything else been going on, um, I didn't want to overwhelm myself. But this month, I have decided to join. Again, this is an open collaboration for anybody, um, content creators or non-content creators. You are more than welcome to join. Um, and this is a, you can kind of come as you go, please, uh, type of situation. You don't have to be in it once you're in it. Um, it is a year long collaboration if you do want to participate for all 12 months, but you do not have to, if you do not want to, um, once you have started the collaboration, your name does, um, stay on the roster so that it's easier to kind of keep track of if you do participate one month and not the next month and then uh, participate a few months later. Um, now there is a Facebook group if you are wanting to join the Facebook group. Um, you can ask comments or questions, comments, concerns in the Facebook group or just even want to share your progress with us. Um, also, if you don't want to be public sized and want to have like a one on one conversation, you are more than willing to email any one of us wonderful ladies, um, any questions, comments or concerns or share your progress that way. Um, now Heather over at Strings and yeah, Strings and Threads, um, at the end of each month, she does make a um, slideshow of everybody's progress and finished project um, at the end of the month. Um, but I think I have covered everything. Um, all of everybody's links will be down in the description box. Um, along with the Facebook group as well. Again, questions, comments, concerns, you can email me or anybody else. This one's pattern is Gary the Giraffe over at Premier's website. Um, the link for the pattern will be down in the description box for you guys. And um, I absolutely had to join in on this pattern because for one, it's an Amber Groomy. I have not made an Amber Groomy in probably at least a good year or so. And also it was a giraffe and I absolutely adore giraffes. Um, they are one of my favorite animals, especially I love um, seeing the giraffes at the zoo and I've actually got to feed a giraffe. Um, if you do not know, giraffes actually their tongues are like a purple bluish color and they're very, very long because they eat from the tops of the trees. So they have to be very, very long. Um, it's very similar to a cow's tongue. Um, so that's kind of interesting. I didn't, when I first fed a giraffe, um, the tongue kind of threw me for a loop because I didn't, I wasn't expecting it to be purple, but or like a blue color, but they are, they do have a blue purplish tongue. Um, so that was kind of <laughs> a weird experience. Um, so the pattern actually calls for a velvet yarn. And if you know me and you've probably heard me talk in the past, I'm not a chunky yarn person. I don't like plushy yarns or, um, like velvety yarns. I will work with them if I do have to. But I tried to kind of steer away from them. So I decided that I was going to use some cotton yarn. I just picked up uh, peaches and cream um, cotton from Walmart and I'm using the color gold and also the dark toupee. Now if you are going to join in this collaboration you can use whatever you would like, whatever kind of yarn you would like, whatever colors, 
make it to your own. This is just what I am wanting to do. Um, there is, I did see somebody else. I think it was Jess over at Jay's Hooks. She is using like a purple burgundy color for her giraffe, which was kind of cool. Um, so I'm excited to see her giraffe. Um, but I have gotten the pretty much the body portion of the giraffe done so far. I just have to stuff the neck. And then um, I'm going to probably work on the head next. I like to personally myself start on the body and the head first and then move into the smaller uh, body parts, the legs, the arms, um, the ears, the hooves, or the ears, the horns, and the tail. Um, so that is probably what you'll see next week is the head. So please stay tuned. Check out all of the wonderful uh, content creators who are also participating in this collaboration. And I hope you guys uh, join in the collaboration as well and have fun with it. Um, again, if you are wanting to participate and not for sure where to start, please email me or anybody else in this collaboration and we are more than willing to help. Um, but with that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you guys next time.